This industry is one that is too important to play political the games member with. Member Braddon will resume her seat. I'm sorry, being 7:30, I propose the question the House do now adjourn, and I call the member for Braddon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On another topic. I want to put on the record my deep and sincere thanks to the people of Braddon for giving me the opportunity to return today to the federal parliament. It is a tremendous privilege and honour to be re-elected as the federal member of Braddon representing my region and our community. I want to thank and commend the candidates who put their names forward to contest the by-election. But this was never about me. It was about giving the people of Braddon an opportunity to tell the nation who we are our priorities and what we expect from a federal government. I would not be standing here today without the exceptional team and hard work of the Labor movement. I wish to thank so very much the Leader of the Opposition and the Deputy Leader for their support, mentoring and commitment to me and the people of Braddon. To the entire team of shadow ministers and colleagues, thank you for your support. Unlike the government, Labor's leadership team and shadow ministry spent time in my electorate before the by-election and therefore had a great understanding of the people and communities of Braddon and our commitments and priorities reflect this. Thank you to my Tasmanian colleagues. We Tasmanians make for a formidable team. Many cower in the doorways of parliament when they see the Tasmanian contingent coming down the corridors. We are now just as formidable as before. Thank you also to the talented and committed team from the Leader's Office and the equally amazing team from the ALP, Noel Carroll, Paul Erickson, Sebastian Zwolf and Stuart Benson, thank you. A huge thanks to the industrial ring of the Labor movement, led by Jessica Mundy from Unions Tasmania. I want to give a special mention to the magnificent Maritime Union of Australia. The MUA is part of me. My dad was a seafarer, a union man, who sadly passed away at sea when I was quite young. The MUA and the maritime industry supported my family after this time, and again, when facing this by-election challenge, the MUA was there. Thank you, Paddy Crumlin, Ian Bray, Jason Campbell, Alicia Bull, Darren Barnett and Michelle Myers, who are in the gallery today. I also want to thank our local unions and their leadership. Madeline Northen from the CPSU, who's here, John Short from the AMWU, Tim Jacobson from HACSU, Paul Griffin from the SDA, and Jeanette Armstrong from United Voice. Our union comrades campaigned during this by-election on matters of inequality and fairness, a message that resonated very well in my electorate where so many are feeling left behind by this government. And finally, I must thank the magnificent field and operations teams and all the volunteers, too many to name individually. I would love to do so, but I have a short time here today. These people door knocked, phone banked, worked on polling day in some of Tasmania's most uh, exceptional weather, had a sign or simply had the conversations with their neighbours. They took time away from their families, friends and homes to be part of this campaign, and I am truly thankful. There is something unique about door knocking in the howling gale, pouring rain and freezing temperatures, which many volunteers were able to experience over many, many weeks. This was the ultimate team effort. Mr Speaker, the circumstances of the Braddon by-election will most probably never be repeated. For 11 weeks, Braddon voters were given a choice between two policy propositions. Tax cuts for the top end of town at the expense of funding for our hospitals and schools, or Labor's alternative, increased investment in schools, hospitals, TAFE and many, many more. Not once did my Liberal opponent when asked on numerous times, explain why a tax cut for the banks is a good thing for the people of Braddon. Perhaps he couldn't or just wouldn't. The people of Braddon sent this Liberal government a very clear message. Dump your corporate tax cuts for big business and the banks. If you don't, it's at your peril. This is the wrong priority for my community and the nation. But ultimately, Labor's priorities are what the people in Braddon support and what I'll take to them to the general election. Mr Speaker, this campaign where everything was thrown at me and Labor <coughs> was a tough one. While I, my electorate, judge my Liberal opponent on his record found in black and white, the negative and defamatory attacks on me by my opponent and the dirty political tactics faced by an independent candidate were not what the people of Braddon accepted. These dirty, negative tactics backfired. 
This style of politics cannot continue in the interests of our voters and in the interests of attracting outstanding candidates. Going through this campaign, I now feel I can do just about anything. I am a better person and a better parliamentarian. I am truly honoured and privileged to represent the people of Braddon and will fight for them every single day as long as they have me. The